got a question recently on a Google Hangout about what is re-record mode and why would I want to use it? Let's say we're doing a typical recording session of like live drums here. And we have all of our tracks record enabled. I would hit record, have our count in, and then we start recording. Now at this point, let's say uh, there was a false start. So I could hit stop. I could delete my files. I could rewind my cursor. I could have it go directly or go directly to my locator position and then hit record again. So imagine if you have a group of musicians that's doing this over and over again. These four or five mouse clicks and keyboard shortcuts can really uh, be problematic and can cause errors. So we created a record mode called re-record and this could be activated by clicking on the common record mode icon here in the transport in Cubase 9. So we could choose re-record or I believe in 8.5 and higher you could find it directly from the transport under common record modes. Just activate re-record. So let's say the difference with re-record is I can now just hit the button, the record button one more time and it would automatically go back to where we started and include any of our pre-roll. So let's take a look at it. So I'm here, we're recording and let's say a bass player messed up the intro. I just hit the record button once. The files are automatically deleted. It goes back to its start position and hits record and does it with the pre-roll as well. So again, hit record. And say one more time. Now if we like that take, if we have a lot of unused files, they'll actually, if we go to our pool window, all the files that we uh, have erased will now show up in the trash. And now you could just simply right click and you can empty the trash and erase the unused files off of your hard disk. So you see that the re-record mode can really streamline the tracking process for your recording session. If you found this video useful, please feel free to like it and subscribe to the YouTube channel.